time, I would like to announce the starting lineups, which are delivered to you by Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza, the official pizza provider of the Mule Riders. If you're hungry after the game, call Domino's Pizza at 234-4141 for pickup or delivery. First, the starting lineup for the visiting Tigers. Batting first at second base, number 21, Bailey King. Batting second at first base, number eight, Lauren Lester. Batting third, the catcher, number 26, Aaron Williams. Batting fourth, the shortstop, number one, Remington Adams. Batting fifth in center field, number four, Caitlin Province. Batting sixth in left field, number 19, Carly Burrow. Batting seventh, the designated player, number 17, Riley Gillis. Batting eighth at third base, number 22, Kennedy Wilkie. And batting ninth in right field, number 15, Hope Johnson. In the circle for the Tigers in game one, the right-handed pitcher, number zero, Hannah Hunter. The Tigers are coached by Jeff Jackson. He is assisted by Toby Kuntz. Now the starters for your Southern Arkansas Mule Riders. Batting first, the designated player number 65, Reagan Dillon. Batting second, in center field number three, Ariana Roll. Batting third, at second base, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Batting fourth, at first base, number 18, Jenna Huey. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 23, Haley Millen. Batting sixth, at third base, number five, Gracie King. Batting seventh, in right field, number 10, Bella Angelo. Batting eighth, the shortstop, number seven, Cassidy Lear. And batting ninth in left field, number two, Morgan Malik Alexander. In the circle for the Mule Riders in game one, the right-handed pitcher, number 55, Brinson Rogers. The Mule Riders are coached by Jason Anderson. He is assisted by Mandy Jordan, Molly Carter, and Kristen Knowlton. Fans, at this time, will you please stand and remove all headgears? We honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Action for you here live on MuraderAthletics.com. Leading off for the Tigers in the top of the first inning, second baseman number 21, Bailey King. Bailey and King. in the circle for game one for the Mule Riders, number 55, Brinson Rogers, and her battery partner, number 23, Haley Nillen. Bailey King digging in for Washington here as we play the top of the first inning, game one of this three game set. Brinson Rogers the starter for the Mule Riders in the circle and the first pitch to battery mate. Haley Nillen in there for a called strike one. And it's fouled off back into the netting. Now Keen's behind in the count, no balls, two strikes. The freshman leadoff playing second base for the Tigers defensively. She's hitting 245 coming into this weekend. 23 hits, five of win for extra bases. 
four doubles and a triple. She's got some speed at the top of the order, seven for eight on stolen bases. The 0-2 pitch, that one's going to be fouled over to the left side and out of play, so the count will hold it, no balls, two strikes. Setting the defense for the Mule Riders. Again, Rogers in the circle, Dylan, her battery mate behind the plate. Gracie King at third. Cassie Lear at shortstop, Cameron Moctezuma at second, and Jenna Huey at first base as that pitch misses up for ball one. And in the outfield, making her first start out in left field, Morgan McAlexander in center field. Ariana Roll and in right field, Bella Angelo. The one-two pitch, that's fouled off into the netting. And the count will hold at one ball, two strikes. Lead-off batter here for the Tigers. That pitch misses low. Count's going to even. Two balls and two strikes. Lauren Lester on deck. Aaron Williams in the hole. That's one, two, three for the Tigers here in the top of the first inning. Game one action in the books in Arkadelphia between the Muir Riders and the Tigers baseball teams as that one's hit back to Rogers softly in the circle, fields it cleanly, and tosses over to Huey for out number one. Now batting and playing for first base, number eight, Lauren Lester. Lester, the senior, digs in. She's hitting 247. She's played in 33 games, 32 starts. She matches King in the hit column with 23. Six doubles, no triples, and a home run. She's got 11 RBI on the season. His effort pitches in there for a strike. Again, back to that baseball series in Arkadelphia. Game one went the way of the Mule Riders, a 9-2 win for Southern Arkansas. Big day at the plate from Carter Clairhout, four for five effort. Three RBI, two runs scored as Lester swings through that one for strike two. Clay Burroughs also had two hits and three runs batted in. It was Jeremy Adorno, eight strong innings from the outstanding right-hander. Struck out six to become SAU's all-time leader in strikeouts with 324, passing the previous mark of 323 by the great Hayden Simpson. One ball, two strikes to count to Lauren Lester. Senior playing first base for the Tigers. One out here in the top of the first inning. Rogers looks down at her wrist and delivers. And that one's fouled over the top, over the netting and out of play. The line on Rogers, the junior, first year mule rider, enters with a 2.41 ERA. She's eight and six on the season, several of those hard luck losses coming to her at the beginning of the campaign as that one's popped up softly. That'll touch netting as Nillen has no play on it. Count of hold at one and two. So making her 17th appearance, 15th in a starting role. She's went the distance seven times and has accumulated 78 and a third innings pitched. 115 strikeouts, second most in the Great American Conference. Opponents hitting just 187 off of her. The one-two pitch misses just low. Good placement, but just low. Count evens, two balls, two strikes. Rogers delivers and again fouled off. Credit Washita hitters. They've been able to make some contact. We saw Keen, the leadoff. Foul off three pitches. Lester's already fouled off three pitches. Tiger hitters battling early in the box. Again, Rogers looks at that left wrist. She delivers. Rise ball, and that's fended off by Rod, or excuse me, by Lester. So in Arkansas kind of finds themselves in a Unfamiliar situation around the middle of the pack in the Great American Conference standings as April looms. That one's fouled just left of the third base bag out of the reach of King. But still, 
with a lot of softball left in front of them. 10 and 7 overall in Great American Conference play. Two games back of Southeastern Oklahoma at 12 and 7. And Lester chases at that high pitch and is down on strike swinging for out number two. Now batting the catcher, number 26, Aaron Williams. So the Nazarene at 13 and four. Harding's also at 13 and four. And Oklahoma Baptist, who was here in Magnolia last week, at 16 and two and leading the conference. And a big swing there from Aaron Williams in the three hole for the Tigers here in game one. Leads the team with a 360 average as well as 36 hits, eight doubles, three triples, and six home runs. So a lot of the power from this Tiger offense comes from the bat of Williams, the catcher. Check swing on the 0-1 pitch. They appeal down to third, say she did not go. Count will move to one ball, one strike. 21 RBIs for Williams. No runners on here in the first. Good placement there from Rogers. Gets Williams to offer up at it, comes away empty. One ball, two strikes. Good lead there from Williams. Rogers unable to get her to chase at the rise ball. Wind coming out of the southwest about 11 miles an hour. Could gust up to around 21, according to in-house meteorologist Jonathan Briggs. And that one is poked at and fouled over the top of the farm road. Two balls, two strikes. Two gone here in the top of the first inning. Brinson Rogers delivers, and that's fouled on. And the count will hold at two and two. Game two of the baseball series in Arkadelphia will begin shortly. We'll keep you updated as that one takes place. Big series for both SAU softball and SAU baseball. Of course, as you get to April, they're all big. And outside corner called strike three. Williams, excuse me, Rogers sits down the Tigers in order. One, two, three. It's Dylan rolling. Moctezuma no up runs, for the no Mule Riders squares, in the bottom of the first. No runners left on base. In the circle for game one for the Tigers, number zero, Hannah Hunter, and her battery partner, number 26, Aaron Williams. And leading off for the Mule Riders in the top of the first, the bottom of the first inning, the designated player, number 65, Reagan Dillon. Anna Hunter in the circle for Washita as we play down at the bottom of the first inning. Reagan Dillon leadoff, Ariana Roll and Cameron Moctezuma. We'll see from those two here in the home half of the first frame. One ball, one strike to count to Reagan Dillon. 
sophomore just recently named to the NFCA Division II Player of the Year watch list, and rightfully so, hitting 355 at the top of the order. 38 hits, That both of those numbers lead the team, as do the 10 doubles and 10 home runs. She's also got 31 RBI. She's slugging 729. You're probably wondering why she's leading off. Well, that's a couple more at-bats for her. So I don't blame Coach Jason Anderson at all for putting her in that spot. She's going to draw a lead-off walk here in the bottom of the first inning. Now batting the center to the number three, Ariana Roll. Ariana Roll steps in. Dylan's at first. Roll hitting 319. She's got 30 hits. One of three Muir Riders to have crossed over that 30 mark in hits so far this season. Tries to lay down the bunt there. Goes foul. Played and started all 32 games for SAU and again tries to lay down a bunt. That one's foul. So now down to just a single strike to work with. Pitch misses up. Ball, two strikes to count, two roll. Yarders don't utilize too much speed on the base pass from a stolen base standpoint, but they certainly have it throughout their order. And again, just about the same pitch, same location, misses up. It's two balls, two strikes. Two two pitch. Contact made, popped up, and foul. Potentially could have been a play on it by the catcher, but I'm not sure if Aaron Williams saw it off the bat. I believe she thought it was well out of play. Dylan's at first base. Hunter delivers, off-speed pitch. That's going to be poked over and caught by the shortstop. For out number one. Now yeah. batting and playing second base, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Nearly enough to get into that outfield grasp. Good range there by Remington Adams to court out number one. Moctezuma digs in. Back left-handed hitters in the lineup for Southern Arkansas. She's hitting 327. 34 hits, that trails only Dylan's 38. Six doubles, a triple, and three home runs. She's also got 21 RBI. 1-0 pitch. That misses, and Cameron's ahead in the count, 2-0. and Beautiful day for softball. They'll play two today. Feels like it might be the first time we've started a series in the, on the day that it's supposed to start without having to have it move. So in Arkansas took the nine runs they scored in Arkadelphia and it quickly got on the board again in game two. They lead it one to nothing. And again, that's Adams ranging over and catches the pop out four out number two. So a leadoff walk to Dillon so far that's as far as she's gotten his first base, now as Jenna Huey steps to the plate. Now batting and playing first base, number 18, Jenna Huey. Cleanup hitter for Southern Arkansas. Swing get 275. She's got 25 hits. This wild pitch is going to push Dylan to second. So, so now the Dylan's even closer for Huey here. With two gone in the bottom of the first inning. The 
0 pitch. That misses up. Good lead there by Huey. Huey with four doubles and seven home runs. For seven home runs, trail only Dylan's 10. She's second on the team. Dylan at RBI with 26. RBI opportunity here. As that pitch gets past Williams, so the pass ball is going to move Dylan to third base. Three balls, no strikes to Huey. They'll automatic right down central for strike number one. That pitch misses up, and it's a five-pitch walk to Huey. And now they're at the corners for Haley Nillen. And we're going to have a talk out in the circle as the infield comes in to join Hunter. The line on Hunter, she's 5-10 and 10 this season, 8.27 ERA. She's thrown 82 and two-third innings. About 108 hits, 56 walks with 50 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 307. But right now, the only two base runners reach via walk. Now batting the catcher number 23, Haley, Haley. Nillen. And they're at the corners for Haley Nillen. 322 average. The 30th hit here would produce the game's first run as that pitch is inside for strike one. Deal one pitch to Nillen, off speed. Got her out in front, swings through it for strike two. Dylan's at third, Huey's at first. Dylan's at the plate, no balls, two strikes, two away here in the bottom of the first inning. One's chopped foul over to the Washita dugout. safely to keep the inning alive. Gracie King would have an at-bat here in the first. One-two pitch. That misses out. Big reach there from Williams to keep that one from getting back to the netting. Pitch that misses up, so Nillen's worked the count back even at two balls, two strikes. And that one's hit sharply into left field. That's going to get down at the warning track. Dillon's going to score, and Huey's going to be held up at third. She's going to have to dive back to the bag, but she gets there safely. As a two-out double off the bat of Haley Nillen plates the game's first run, and Southern Arkansas leads it one nothing. Now batting and playing third base, number five, Gracie King. So now we will see from Gracie King. That was the seventh double of the season for Haley Nillen. First pitch swinging is King pops that one up and foul. King hitting 240, the senior third baseman. 23 hits, three doubles, a triple, and three home runs. She's got 14 RBI. If she could find some open real estate here, she'd be able to break this one open and stake Rogers to a comfortable lead. Swings through that off-speed pitch down in the count. No balls, two strikes.
The 0-2 pitch from Hunter. And that one's fouled off at the plate. Hunter's been able to work ahead in several counts here as the Muriders make their way to play for the first time here in game one. It's been in the situations in which she's trying to use a waste pitch is where she starts to lose them, but she gets King swinging there. And Southern Arkansas will strand a pair of runners. But they do strike first and lead to one to nothing through one. Game one of this three-game set. In the bottom of the first thing, there was one run, one hit, no errors, and two runners left on base. Leading off the top of the second inning for the Tigers, the shortstop for one, Remington Adams. Four, five, and six up for Washita here in the top of the second inning. Brinson Rogers worked a one, two, three frame back in the first. And the first pitch to Remington Adams. Washita shortstop misses for ball one. Sophomore hitting 219, making her 34th start of the season. Healthy swing through that one. Comes up short for strike one. 23 hits for Adams. Six doubles, a triple, and a bomb. Second on the team in RBI with 19. That one's fouled off into the netting. It's the call from Coach Jordan. And again, Adams fouls that one off into the netting. One ball, two strike count. Wind's blowing out of the south. Shifted just slightly, but still, still whipping a good bit as old Glory's waving out there in center as that pitch misses. And the count's going to even at two balls, two strikes. Good crowd on hand. Expect that burn maybe to fill up just a little bit more as we hear that 5 o'clock hour for those that had to work today. And down on strikes is Adams. Now batting the center fielder number four, Caitlin Province. That's the second punch out of the afternoon for Rogers. Runs her K count for the season up to 117. Nearly a four to one walk, uh, strikeout to walk ratio for Brinson. Right hander has been a welcomed addition to Coach Anderson's pitching staff. 1 0 pitch, that's fouled off into the netting. Misses up. Two balls, one strike. And a good cut there from K. 
Kalen Province. Sophomore hitting 262. All top five hitters in this Washita order, all with 20 or more base knocks. Province is down on strikes. Back to back punch outs for Rogers. Now batting the left fielder, number 19, Carly Burrow. Carly Burrow, the freshman, making her 16th start of the season. Eight hits, half have went for doubles. She's got nine RBI. She's in left field for Washita here in game one. Comes up empty on that offering. One pitch, that's fouled off into the netting. O2. Pitch missed. I don't think we'll get a check. I don't think they're going to ask for her. She held back pretty pretty well. That was Burrow. The one-two pitch. That's swung on in foul territory. And coming over to make the grab is Mac Alexander for out number three. So another one-two three frame for Rogers. So in Arkansas to the plate when we come back. At the top of the second, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base. Leading off the bottom of the second inning for the Mule Riders, the right fielder, number 10, Bella Angelo. Angelo, Lear, and Mick Alexander do up for the Mule Riders here in the bottom of the second inning as they face Hannah Hunter. Mule Riders struck for a single run off of one hit and two walks. Back in the home half of the first, left two runners on. That's that's plagued SAU as of recent weekends. It's not been an issue. Not been an issue getting the runners on. It's been more so an issue of getting the runners back home. One ball, one strike. The count to Angelo. Swung on and fouled over to the right side and out of play. Angelo, the junior right fielder, the first year mule rider, hitting 187. She's got 14 hits, double and a home run, seven RBI. She's down in the count, one ball, two strikes, pitch from Hunter. Again, fouled off nearly the same spot. Count will hold a one and two. Good pitch there from Hunter. Grooved one in there on Angelo for a called strike three. And that'll bring Cassidy now, Lear to the play with one, number one seven. out. Cassidy Lear. Bottom of the second in Arkadelphia, Southern Arkansas. 
as state starter Michael Howe to a 2 0 lead. That's game two of the series as the first pitch to Lear in there for a called strike. Lear, the senior shortstop, hitting 235, 19 hits. And has a single tally in each of the extra base hit columns. Fouls that one off into the netting. Down in the count, no balls, two strikes. Again, Hunters has done a good job so far in the early going of working ahead. That pitch just missed out. Somewhere. One two pitch from Hunter, and that missed in the turf for ball two. Two pitch misses up, so Lear's worked the count full. Three balls and two strikes. One out here to Cassidy Lear. Bottom of the second inning, game one. Hunter's pitch. That one's going to be hit softly over to the shortstop. Fielded cleanly. But the throw was a little wide and to the left. And I believe that's going to be error on the first baseman. It's a good strong throw. You've got to be able to reach to your left to grab it. Now batting the left field, number two, Morgan McAlexander. And so the drop's going to be charged to Lauren Lester. Adams will still be charged with an assist for those of you scoring at home, so I know many of you are. And the first pitch to Morgan McAlexander is a ball. And Alexander showing showing some of her athleticism right here. Originally brought in more so for her ability to, to pitch. Hasn't been used in that role much as of late. But here she is in the nine spot, manning things in left field. And she's worked a 3-0 count off of Washita starter Hannah Hunter. Came aware of McAlexander's two-way exploits last year in the regional when she pinch ran at second base against Missouri Southern. That pitch is in there for strike one. Thought the play-by-play -play announcer might have looked at his roster wrong when he said Morgan McAlexander, but he didn't. Alexander, I do believe, ended up scoring uh, as a pinch runner in that scenario. She's pinch ran a couple times so far this year. He's already scored two runs. She appeared in three games. And that roll swings through that pitch for strike two. Three balls, two strikes to McAlexander, one out. Runner on, that's Lear. Reached on the muff throw by Lester at first. Full count offering. Swing and a miss down on strikes is McAlexander. And that'll push the order back to the top for Dillon. Now batting the designated player, number 65, Reagan, Reagan. Dillon. Dylan walked in her first at bat. That was the 14th time she's reached on a free pass this season. And the first pitch from Hunter misses for ball one. You do not want to miss to miss Reagan Dillon. 20 extra base hits of the near 40 that she's recorded so far this season. Again, on the NFCA D2 player of the year watch list. That one's going to be chopped over. Shortstop ranges to her right. Good throw. About as best a throw as she can make considering she had to hurry it, but Dylan's going to beat out the throw for an infield single. That'll push now Lear to second. Number three, Ariana 
Roll. Dylan's on for the second time this afternoon. That'll bring Ariana Roll to the plate. Yeah, two outs in the frame. Yarders managed to scratch a run with two gone in the first. Got an opportunity to potentially do it here in the second. Hunter delivers, and that pitch misses. And so the wild pitch is going to get Dylan to second. It'll chase Lear to third. Very similar situation that developed back in the first inning for Southern Arkansas. Wild pitch and a pass ball sent Dylan to third back in that inning. And that one's going to be fouled over the top of the Washita dugout. One ball, two strike count to Ariana Roll. Right, Roll takes it the other way there. Pitch was nearly in on her hands as she moved to the front of the box. Offered up a slap at it and took it down the right field side, but foul. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Bottom of the second here in game one. Game 33 for Southern Arkansas here in the 24 campaign. That one's hit over and off two gloves. That'll score one run. Here comes a second run. And Dylan's in safely, and now Roll's going to have a chance to get into second, and she's in there just under the tag. Was nearly caught in between first and second and gets in there under the tag. And that's going to put a runner in scoring position for Cameron Moctezuma here with two outs in the inning. That'll go down as a hit for Roll. When you look at it, the third baseman was playing nearly a, almost above the bag was Wilkie, her only – Really, reaction was to go left. And then it ends up also going off the glove of the shortstop, now Adams. Now second base, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. And so the infield single. And first pitch swinging is Moctezuma lines out to center field. But Southern Arkansas adds two more in the second. They lead it 3-0 through two. Smear softball. Leading off the top of the third inning for the Tigers, the designated player, number 17, Riley Gillis. Seven, eight, nine up for Washita in the top of the third inning, so in Arkansas. As staked starter Brinson Rogers to a 3 0 advantage. Two run infield single by Ariana Roll scored Cassidy Lear and Reagan Dillon. That was back in the second inning. And Haley Nillen with a two out double back in the first play to Dillon. So one ball, two strike count. 
to Gillis, leadoff batter for the Tigers. Sophomore hitting 162. Designated player in the order here in game one. And down on strikes as Rogers strikes out. Watch the tall batter for the fourth time. Now batting and playing third base, number 22, Kennedy Wilkie. Correction for the fifth time this afternoon. First pitch to Kennedy Wilkie, the third baseman for Washita. That's fouled off into the netting for strike one. Rogers up to 120 Ks this season. She's had a stretch here as King lunges out for that one near the netting in front of the Washita dugout. Comes up just short. And the count's no balls. Two strikes to Kennedy Wilkie. Sophomore in the eighth spot, manning that hot corner. No two pitch misses for ball one. 3 2 ball game in Arkadelphia. That's the second game of the day between the Mill Riders and the Tigers. Key series. In fact, D2 Baseball Insider. Named it the Series of the Weekend across uh, all D2 baseball. And that's going to be strikeout number six as Wilkie's caught looking. And there's two outs here in the third. Now batting in the right field, number 15, Hope Johnson. Now Hope Johnson digs in. Johnson making her 12th start for Washita. 13th game she's appeared in. She shows bunt. That's popped up sharply and foul. Tigers 4 and 13 in Great American Conference play. 9 and 25 overall. Southern Arkansas 21 and 11. 10 and 7 in GAC action. Some tough losses in league play. And again, shows bunt, tries to lay it down. That's fouled. It's going to be no balls, two strikes to Johnson here with two outs in the top of the third inning. The 0-2 pitch. Up and out as it misses. For ball one. One two pitch, rise pitch. Gets Johnson to swing. She comes up empty as Roger strikes out the side. Tigers go down in order. Southern Arkansas to the play when we come back. Huey no Nillen no and King no do up for no SAU. Left on base. Leading out the bottom of the third inning for Southern Arkansas. Playing first base, number 18, Jenna Huey. Jenna Huey, Haley Nillen, and Gracie King. Four, five, and six hitters in Jason Anderson's game one lineup. 
dig in to start the bottom of the third inning. Huey comes up empty on the pitch from Hunter. One pitch misses up for ball one. Huey walked in her first plate appearance. She leads things off for SAU here in the third. That one's popped up, but foul. And that gets into the bleachers. Two pitch, that misses up. So Huey's worked the count back even at two and two. That one's popped up, and that one's going to drift out of play, and a nice play made in the stands. I believe a Washita fan just reached out and really kind of very nonchalant there. Nicely done. Count holds at two and two. The pitch to Huey. That one's popped up again. I don't know if that one will get out of play. And a good play made by the catcher, Aaron Williams, as Huey's retired on the foul out to the catcher. Now batting the catcher number 23, Haley, Haley. Nillen. Nillen. Now Haley Nillen digs in. Big two-out double off the bat of Nillen. That was her seventh of the season. Came back in the bottom of the first inning. That pushed across Reagan Dillon, who led off the home half of the first with a walk. And now she's at the play with one gone and nobody on in the third. Balls, no strikes. The count to Nillen. Off speed. Got Haley to chase it. That one for strike number one. Good pitch from Hunter. Went right at Nillen there for strike two. Two pitch, that's going to be fouled over the top of the Washita dugout. Hunter delivers, that's going to be chopped over to third base. Fielded cleanly, throw over the top by Wilkie. And it's handled by Lester for out number two. Now batting and playing third base, number five, Gracie, Gracie. King. So the 5-3 retires Nillen. That will bring Gracie King to the plate. Senior third baseman. Been a mainstay at the hot corner throughout her career here at SAU. So far, Hunter's got the off-speed working well for her in the circle. And minus a couple of pitches, obviously the ones that ended up bringing home a couple of runs, it's done well so far against this SAU order. No one pitch, that's going to be popped up, left center field, drifting over to her right is the center fielder, 
Kaitlin Province. She's got it for out number three. So Southern Arkansas down quickly in the third. Through three, it's 3 nothing. Mule Riders. This is SAU softball. In the bottom of the third inning, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base. Leading off the top of the fourth inning for the Tigers, playing second base, number 21, Bailey King. Bailey King leads things off for Washita. Here's we play into the top of the fourth inning, series opener between these two foes. 3 0 Southern Arkansas lead. Counts even from Brinson Rogers to Bailey King, the Tiger leadoff. Grounded out to Rogers in her first at bat. That one's popped up left side foul territory. And Lear drifts over and has it. Four out number one. Just on the foul part of the left field line behind the third base bag. Now batting and playing first base number eight, Lauren Lester. Lear's got it four out number one. Seven strikeouts for Brinson Rogers. Prior to the King pop out, she had retired three straight. As Lester swings through that one for strike one. Two pitch from Rogers that misses up. One ball, two strikes. From Rogers to Lester. Struck out. Back in the first inning. Swings on that one, fouls it off over to the left side. Back behind the plate. Good contingent of Washita fans in the stands. See some purple and white. Berm is filled up a little bit. Some pickup trucks have pulled up. And the one-two pitch from Rogers. Again, that misses up as Millen stretching to reach that one. Counts even two and two. gets the call from pitching coach Mandy Jordan. Brinson delivers. That misses, misses up, excuse me. Rogers kind of looked into the dugout and kind of shook her head. I don't know if she's just not, maybe that pitch, that placement's not working for her at the moment. She'll shrug it off, get back on the rubber. It's three and two with one out here in the fourth. 
And the pitch, that's going to be popped up softly, and that's going to drift out into some open real estate right in front of McAlexander, just out of the reach of Lear at short. And that's going to be the first base hit of the day for the Tigers. Hitless now three, three and a third. 26, Aaron Williams. But it's Lauren Lester with the dropped in single into left field. And now Lester's going to be pitch ran for at first base. Not sure of the number yet. Eighteen's going to checking in. Kenzie Amaya is going to be pinch running at first Just base. Fans now pinch running first base for the Tigers, number 18, Mackenzie Amaya. And now batting the catcher, number 26, Aaron Williams. Amaya making her 17th appearance of the season. Just one, one for two on stolen base attempts. She has scored, has scored four runs, excuse me. Shows bunt, pulls back, pitch misses high for ball one. Moctezuma was there to cover first as Lear drifted over to shortstop. The 1-1 one -one pitch, that's going to be laced into left field. And in front of her is McAlexander. Not a bad effort there by Alexander. It just got down in front of her. Single into left field for Williams. Now batting the shortstop number one, Remington Adams. And Amaya will get to third. So now they're at second and third. Washita with a big opportunity here with just one away in the fourth. So just an unfortunate kick off of, I believe, the foot of Mac Alexander, either that or the glove, as she kind of lunged forward and kind of brought the ball up and, and kept it about a couple of feet in front of her, but she turned around thinking it might have gotten behind her. And it was smart base running there by the pinch runner. Amaya to go ahead and keep booking around second and head to third. That's going to be nearly popped up and out of the reach of a diving Jenna Huey. And it's one of those things, hindsight, you look, if she lets it drop, she's able to play it cleanly and potentially has a shot to get the Get the, play, get the runner coming to the plate, but instead it kicks away. And that's going to allow Washita to find the scoreboard here. So Adams is going to reach on the bunt to the first baseman. Williams will move to third, and Amaya comes in to score. Now batting the center field number four, Caitlin Province. So now their runners are at the corners for Province. She's got nine RBI, big opportunity here for the sophomore center fielder. Rogers finds herself in a jam, going to try to work out of it. And
Roberts with a one ball, one strike count. So Adam stole second, and now Province pops that one up. Now batting left fielder number 19, Carly Burrow. Adams and Williams will both hold. So now two outs, still two runners in scoring position. Carly Burrow, the freshman, big opportunity here for the collegiate rookie. Swings through that pitch. Rogers would love nothing more than to strand these two Tigers on the base pass and keep that lead intact at 3-1. Of course, if you're Burrow, anything in real estate is going to score one, potentially could score a second run, and this one could be all knotted at three. And Rogers again blows that one by Burrow. Trying to work out of some trouble here in the fourth. Very nice outing through three. 69 pitches. And number 70 is going to end up with strikeout number eight as they'll strand runners at second and third. But Washita finds the scoreboard on a three-hit inning. It's 3-1 Southern Arkansas heading to the in home the half of the fourth. Thing, there was one run, three hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Leading off the bottom of the fourth inning for Southern Arkansas, the right fielder, number 10, Bella Angelo. Angelo Lear and Mac Alexander, 7-8-9 up for the Mule Riders as we play down into the bottom of the fourth inning. 3-1 ball game. Washita struck for their first run of the afternoon back in the previous half inning. Two back starter, Hannah Hunter. Back out in the circle to start her fourth inning of work. That pitch misses up. Two balls, no strikes. Two-o pitch that misses up as well. And so Angelo's worked a three ball, no strike count here. Angelo's second on the team in walks with 14 this season. Nillen leads that category with 16. And that pitch misses low and in, four ball, four. So four pitch walk to Angelo is going to set the table for Cassidy Lear. And I believe we're going to have a substitution, maybe not necessarily a substitution, but we're going to have a talk to in the circle. Coach Jackson in his first season with the Tigers. He's going to talk things over with his starting pitcher, Hannah Hunter, and her battery mate, Aaron Williams. Now batting the shortstop, number seven, Cassidy Lear. Lear. 
Angelo's at first base. Lear's going to show bunt's going to be popped up and foul just out of the reach of a diving Williams from her crouch behind the plate. Angelo with speed at first. He's only attempted two stolen bags this year. Came up successful in both of those attempts. The ball's one strike, shows Bunn again, and that's going to be hit twice off of Lear. So she would have gotten it down, but it was sharply and came back up and hit the bat. So down in the count, no balls, two strikes. She looks down and gets the sign from Coach Anderson. The 0-2 pitch from Hunter. That's going to be popped up. I don't know if there's going to be a play. It's actually going to stay in fair territory. Williams just let that one go. And so Lear will stay alive at the plate with an 0-2 count. Nobody out here. Bottom of the fourth inning. Angelo's at first base. She walked for the 15th time this season. Hunter's in the circle. And that pitch misses low and in for ball one. Again, just about the same spot, nearly off the turf. And so Lear's worked the count back even. Two balls, two strikes. So in Arkansas looking to scratch back that run they Allowed back in the previous half inning. I know if you're Coach Jason Anderson, he's wanting a lot more than just that one back. That one's going to be popped up right side, playable in fair territory, and it's caught a couple steps to her right of the line. That's the right fielder out there, Hope Johnson. Now batting the left field number two, Morgan McAlexander. Morgan McAlexander steps in, struck out in her first at-bat, her first at-bat of the season. In fact, her first at-bat as a mule rider. And that pitch misses low from Hunter. Coach Anderson giving out some signs over at third base. Certainly not worried about any personal accolades, but he's nearing a career milestone. More on that later this weekend. One ball, no strikes. That pitch misses up. So, Matt Alexander ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. Two -oh pitch from Hunter. That one's swung on and fouled, and that's going to get out of play for strike one. Balls, one strike, two McAlexander, one out, one on. Bottom of the fourth inning. That pitch misses low and in, and McAlexander's worked a 3-1 count. Pitch finds the inner corner for strike number two, and the count's full to Morgan. Nine-hole hitter in the order. That one's popped up in foul. Count pitch, and that misses up, and a good at-bat there from Morgan McAlexander.
Now batting the designated player number 65, Reagan, Reagan. Dillon. And now Reagan Dillon steps up to the plate. And the, and the first pitch to Dillon misses for ball one. Big opportunity here for Southern Arkansas. Just one out, two runners on. Lead off up in Reagan Dillon. She's reached twice today and she scored both times. And that one's going to be hit up out just beyond the brown turf here. And caught as Keen retires Dillon on the P4. So runners will hold it first and second. That'll bring now Ariana Roll to the plate. Number three, Ariana, Ariana. Roll. Roll. Update in Arkadelphia, Southern Arkansas. Three-run bomb off the bat of Jaden Woolbright. Let's put the Marauders back out in front in a back-and-forth affair in game two. As Roll pops that one up and played over into it off the shift was Johnson. And she's got it for out number two as Southern Arkansas strands two more. But they'll carry a 3-1 lead to the fifth. This is Marauders softball. In the bottom of the fourth inning, there are no runs, no hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Leading off the top of the fifth inning for the Tigers, the designated player in number 17, Riley Gillis. Gillis Wilkie Johnson, 789, called upon by Washington here in the top of the fifth inning. 3 1 Southern Arkansas lead here in game one of this three game league set. That one's popped up and fouled out of play. So Gillis down to the count, no balls, two strikes. Check swing at the plate and they'll check down to first. They're gonna say she did not much to the dismay of a couple of die-hard Murrider fans down in front. One ball, two strikes. Rogers looks at her left wrist, and she delivers. That's going to be popped up on the infield, playable. Huey's there just to the left, her left of the first baseline as Gillis has retired on the foul out to Huey. Now batting the third baseman, number 22, Kennedy Wilkie. Now Kennedy Wilkie steps in, the sophomore, playing third base for the Tigers here in game one. Swing and a miss through that pitch from Rogers. Wind's been steady all afternoon. Has yet to play really a part in any in any batted ball out toward the outfield. And another strong swing there from Wilkie. Comes up empty down in the count. No balls, two strikes. The 0-2 pitch fouled off. As Rogers gave her a third taste of just about the same pitch, Wilkie was able to get a piece of that. Stay alive at the plate. And 
and got her to reach there. Down on strikes is Wilkie. And that will bring Hope Johnson, the nine hole hitter, to the plate Our for Washita. Number 15, Hope Johnson. Ninth strikeout of the afternoon for Miss Brinson Rogers. She's run that season K count up to 124. She's a strikeout away from reaching 10 Ks in a game for the fifth time this season. And a nine inning affair against Oklahoma Baptist. SAU won the series, that series opener last weekend, one nothing. Pitch to Johnson, excuse me, two one. She had 15 strikeouts in that one, and the next day she came back with eight more. Season highs at 17. That was in a midweek game against Arkansas Monticello. That one also went extra innings. She's got a two-ball, two-strike count to Hope Johnson here with two gone in the top of the fifth. And swing to miss strike three. That's number 10 for Rogers. And the Tigers are down quickly in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Southern Arkansas to the plate. When we come back, it's Moctezuma, no Huey, no and no Dillon. No runners left on base. Leading off the post dance fifth for Southern Arkansas, the second baseman, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Cameron Moctezuma digs in for Southern Arkansas. So we play down into the bottom of the fifth inning. Muir Riders with a 3-1 lead. Had opportunities to add on to it. Credit the Tigers for working out of a couple of jams. Specifically, Hannah Hunter. Seth Washita hang around here in game one. One ball, one strike. Count to Moctezuma. She's 0 for 2 this afternoon. Balls, one strike, the count to Moctezuma. The Otters have been able to work that leadoff runner on in several innings. And they'll have the leadoff runner, or leadoff batter on here as Moctezuma draws a walk. Her 13th of the season. Baker's does it in the free passes for Cameron. Now batting the first base from number 18, Jenna Huey. Now Jenna Huey digs in. Huey's 0 for 1 with a walk. So Arkansas has walked five times in this one. Huey puts a charge into that one out right center field. And what a play 
What a play out there by the center fielder, Caitlin Province. She ran that one all the way down to rob an extra base hit from Huey. Because that one was destined for probably off the top of the fence. Now batting the catcher, number 23, Haley Millen. And instead, it's going to just go down as an F8 right center. The box score will not show the amount of ground she had to cover, but if you're not watching and only listening, trust me, folks, she had to cover a lot of green grass there. And Washita fans needed any reason why she's in center field. That will be more than enough evidence. Great play there defensively. Kaylin Province. Ball's one strike. That pitch misses up. Count evens one and one. Update in Arkadelvia. Top six in action. Runner at third for the Mule Riders. Two gone. SAU leading 6-4. And Nillen puts a contact into that one. It's going to be foul on the right side. Strike number two. Stairs down the middle of Williams. That one's going to be hit sharply through the left side. So it's going to be a one-out single off the bat of Haley Nillen. Pushes Moctezuma to second. Now batting the third base from their five, Gracie King. Second hit of the game for Nillen. That pushes her to 31 hits on the season. And it sets a nice table for Gracie King, and it gets a little bit better there as the wild pitch. It's going to push Nillen to second. Moctezuma will take over at third. And now they're both in scoring position for Gracie King. And now Coach Anderson calls time. He's going to come down and talk with the home plate umpire, and I believe we're going to have a pinch runner here for Nillen at second. Looks like it's going to be Ava Dunn, the first pinch runner out of the dugout for Southern Arkansas here in game one. And Dunn will take now over. Pinch running at second base for Southern Arkansas. At second base. Number 30, Ava Dunn. Dunn appearing in her 19th game for the Mule Riders. She scored seven runs. More than enough speed to go around. One ball, no strike. Two King, that pitch misses out. Next pitch will be the 100th for Hunter. So Arkansas with a big opportunity to break this one open here. 3-1 ball game. Runners the second and third. King at the plate, one gone here, bottom five. Good swing at that, comes away empty. Two one pitch that misses out. Now King has worked a three one count. Some encouragement down there from head coach Jason Anderson. King back in the box. Off speed and good job. At least fighting that one off. Fouls it over the top of the Washita dugout, and the count's going to run full at three and two. And that pitch is, misses low, and that's going to load the bases for Angelo. So King draws her eighth walk of the season.
believe we're going to have a pitching change in the circle. And that will do it at least for Hannah Hunter as of right now. So Hunter's the pitcher of record for the Tigers as she exits with one out in the fifth. Change for Washington Baptist. Now in the circle for the Tigers, number seven, Maggie Huddleston. And now Maggie Huddleston will take over in the circle. She'll enter the pretty hairy situation as the bases are loaded with just one gone for SAU. Bella Angelo at the plate. Twelfth appearance for Huddleston. 27 and one-third innings pitched of those 12 appearances. This will be her 10th uh, in relief. And now batting for Southern Arkansas. 4 three, right five code, ERA. Bella Angelo. 10 strikeouts, 22 walks. Opponents hitting 322 against her. That pitch misses low for ball one. Ball one strike to Angelo, one out. That pitch misses low and in the turf for ball two. Moctezuma's at third base, Ava Dunn's at second, pitch running for Nillen. King, who just drew a free pass, she's at first base. Patience there from Angela. That pitch misses up nearly in. And it's a three ball, one strike count. And that's going to be a five pitch walk to Angelo. That'll push across a run. And Southern Arkansas gets that Washita run in the fourth, back in the fifth. As the lead moves back to three at four to one. Now batting the shortstop, number seven, Cassidy Lear. Now Cassidy Lear steps in. Again, it doesn't get easier for Huddleston. First pitch to Lear, grooved in there for strike one. Out, up and out. Lear behind the count. No balls, two strikes. To the senior shortstop. O2 pitch from Huddleston missed low for ball one. McAlexander's on deck. Pitch misses up, so Lear patiently worked the count back even. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two pitch just down. Not a bad frame there from Williams. Good leave by Lear. And the counts move full at three and two. One out in the inning. Outside corner called, strike three. Lear down looking. And the bases will stay loaded with two outs. A big strike out there. Big strike out the there for two. Huddleston. Morgan McAlexander. As Morgan McAlexander steps in. Not too many opportunities for Morgan at the plate this year, really in her Murider career. 
making her first start out in the field. And she's in for, with a big opportunity here. Struck out in her first dad bad, but walked in her second plate appearance. She's ahead in the count here. Two balls, no strikes. That one's popped up, and that one's going to get down. That's going to find green grass. That's going to score one run. A second run is in, and even a third. Here comes, a, here comes the third run of the inning as the throw to try to get Mac Alexander into second is wide. And it's a bases clearing. Granted, she cleared two of them, and the third one came in on the throwing error, but they're now no longer loaded as McAlexander in her at bat. Three come across, and it's 7-1 Southern Arkansas. Now batting the designated player number 65, Reagan, Reagan. Dillon. Dillon. In the bottom of the fifth inning, there are four runs, two hits, one error, and one runner left on base. Leading off the sixth inning for the Tigers, the second baseman, number 21, Bailey Kane. We've got the live stats all figured out. Got a little hairy there in Morgan McAlexander's at bat, but credit the Credit the senior utility player getting it done in her first start of the, se uh, of the season in the field. Drives in two on contact. The third scores as she's trying to get into second. She was in safely. And the Aaron throw allowed Angelo to race home. And it's a four-run frame for the Mule Riders in the fifth. And they lead it 7-1 through five. Lead off 
Fort Washington, Bailey King at the top of the order. One ball, two strikes to count. That pitch misses. Coach Jordan sounds out the call. That one's going to be popped up. It'll get out of play on the top of the Washita dugout. We've seen several foul balls go over toward the farm road. I've yet to make my old usual statement of if you're walking the farm road and the Murider softball team's in town, you better keep your head on a swivel. They're right, Jonathan. You, you cannot be locked in on that farm road. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. You can be locked in at an all-you-can-eat buffet, but not on the farm row when the Muriders are in town. Great effort by rollout in center field. It's going to come up short. But she had to cover a lot of grass there. Ball had just enough spin on it to get down. Now batting the first baseman, number eight, Lauren Lester. As Bailey King's on with a leadoff single into center field. Now Lauren Lester, she had the first hit of the game for Washita back in the fourth inning. She's up with a runner on with nobody out in the sixth. Big swing and a miss there from Lester. Two pitch from Rogers outside corner just missed. That pitch misses up, so Lester, after two swing and misses, has worked the count back to two balls, two strikes. Kings at first base. Reached on contact out to center field. A diving Ariana Roll just out of her reach. Rogers delivers, swing and a miss, went back to that pitch up and out. And Lester comes away empty. She's down on strikes, 11 strike out of the afternoon for Brinson Rogers. Now batting the catcher number 26, Aaron Williams. Now Aaron Williams steps in, the catcher for Washita. Four-run fifth inning for Southern Arkansas has opened up here, has opened up game one here. Seven-one lead for the Mule Riders. Which misses one ball, one strike, two Williams. is one for two. Two one pitch, swing and a miss. Rogers has really opened up the zone here as far as Working in and out in the latter part of the ball game, of course, that four-run frame for SAU in the fifth has cushioned her starting effort. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Could not get Williams to chase. And that'll move the count full at three and two. 100th pitch of the afternoon coming for Brinson Rogers. Pitch misses out, four ball, four. 
So Williams works a walk. And now they're at first and second. So Washita doing their part in responding to that run heavy frame for SAU in the fifth. Updating Arkadelphia, pitching change for the Tigers in the top of the seventh. SAU one out, one on. They lead 6 4. That's the seven inning game. Your Riders trying to hold on and win the series. And if they can do so, they'll go for the sweep at high noon tomorrow. Now batting the shortstop, number one, Remington Adams. Now Remington Adams digs in, the shortstop, cleanup hitter for the Tigers. She's got runners at first and second. Kings at second, Williams is at first. Rogers trying to settle in here. Comes right at Adams. Fouls that one off into the mid of Nillen for strike one. Oh, one pitch misses. Count's going to even. One ball, one strike. That's fouled off. So the runners will hold it first and second. One two pitch again. Fouled off just about the same spot. turned on and hit foul and again off the farm road that's right down on the swivel that's right Jonathan one ball two strikes to count outside corner called strike three punch out number 12 for Rogers now batting the center fielder number four, Caitlin Province. And she's an out away from working out of this two base runner threat from the Tigers here in the sixth. Swing and a miss from Province. Made a great play out in the center field, out in the left, or excuse me, right center field gap. Take away a couple of runs so that Arkansas would end up striking anyway, but what a great effort. So that one's fouled off over to the left side and out of play. So Province behind in the count, no balls, two strikes. Rogers just needs a pitch here to get out of the jam. Brinson Rogers with her 13th strikeout of the afternoon. Helps Southern Arkansas work out of a jam here in the sixth. They'll head to the bottom half of the frame. Opportunity to add to that 7-1 lead. This is Miller softball. In the top of the sixth inning, there are no runs, one hit, no errors, and two runners left on base.
leading off the bottom of the sixth inning for Southern Arkansas. The center fielder, number three, Ariana Roll. Roll, Makazuma, and Huey. Two, three, four. Up for the Muriders in the home half of the sixth. They've got a 7-1 lead here in game one of this three-game Great American Conference Series. And they're looking to potentially maybe even add a couple of more runs here. Opportunity to maybe finish it even a half inning early. That's hit softly, nearly, nearly ran it out. But good job defensively there by Washita to retire a roll for out number one. Now batting and playing second base, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Cameron Moctezuma at the plate. Down in the count, no balls, two strikes. And a good play over at second base. Bailey King running in, fielding it on the hop, and tossing over for the 4-3. Now batting and playing first base, number 18, Jenna Huey. And now Jenna Huey steps in. Ball, one strike, the count to Jenna Huey. Southern Arkansas consecutive ground outs to start the bottom of the sixth. So Washita threatened back in the visiting half of this frame, put two runners on. They're trying to get back to the dugout as quickly as they can to potentially uh, keep that momentum going offensively. You got to think you'll see Brinson Rogers out for the seventh. She's twirled a solid one here so far. That one's hit sharply over to the shortstop, fielded cleanly by Adams. And she makes a good throw over to first. So Southern Arkansas down one, two, three in the sixth. We go to the seventh, a seventh one lead, and we'll see Brinson Rogers back out to the circle, try to finish off the Tigers in game one. In the bottom of the sixth inning, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base.
pinch hitting lead off the top of the seventh inning for the Tigers. Number 29, Marley Huddleston. A row of pinch hitters due up for Washita here in the top of the seventh inning. That pitch misses up for ball one. Marley Huddleston, the younger sister of Maggie Huddleston, the relief pitcher. For the Washita here in game one is at the plate. Looks at the 1-0 pitch for strike one. So one ball, one strike count. And we have gone final in Arkadelphia in game two. Southern Arkansas has taken the series with a 6-4 win in the seven inning game. They'll head to the old janitor's closet tomorrow and potentially grab a broom, try to finish off the Tigers. And what is a big, big Great American Conference series between two teams sharing the top spot in the league standings entering today's action. One ball, two strike count to Marley Huddleston. And swing and a miss, strike three. I tell you what, Jonathan, Jonathan's up here doing a fantastic job on the PA and music and scoreboard as always. Arby's has the meets. Brinson Rogers has the K's. Punch out number 14 for number Brinson. Jordan Merritt. And that's gonna bring up another pinch hitter to the plate for Washita. Merritt is going to pinch hit here in the place of Gillis. Jordan Merritt, the freshman, utility player, listed as a pitcher and an outfielder. Fouls that one off into the netting for strike number two. That one's going to be popped up. King diving effort just out of the reach of Gracie King. I don't know if she could have laid out any more than she did. What an effort. She might. She's, she's, she's certainly okay. She's up and laughing, chuckling with Lear, the shortstop. Uh, you, there was no more effort to give to give there. That was that was fantastic. That's what you want to see. That one's going to be hit sharply on a line out to right field. Angelo a couple of steps back, and she's got it for out number two, the L9 to retire Merritt. And now Emily Reed will pinch hit for Kennedy Wilkie. Now pinch hitting for the Tigers, number 34, Emily Reed. Rogers. And out away from finishing off this complete game effort. It would be her eighth of the season. Pitch misses for ball two. Game two will begin in approximately 25 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Someone joked with me in between innings if we'd see the Easter Bunny this weekend, if they'd make an appearance out here at Dawson Field. I, told them I don't know about the Easter Bunny or Snow Bunny or Pollen Bunny, but we'll definitely have a second game after this one. Two balls, one strike to the pinch hitter. Emily Reed.
Two balls, two strikes to count to Emily Reed. Down on strikes, a 15 strikeout performance from Brinson Rogers. Southern Arkansas takes game one of the series by a final score of 7 to 1. An impressive performance in the circle. The Muir Riders break through offensively with a four run fifth inning. And they take the momentum here in this three game set. Game two will begin in approximately 25 minutes. So you can probably expect around a six. 6.20, 6.20 start for game number two. And we'll have all the action for you live here on MuraderAthletics.com. The Muraders win game one of the series by a final score of 7-1. to one. Game two is set to start in 25 to 30 minutes.
She'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young. This I know, this I know. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry. Band Southern Arkansas would like to say thank you to today's game day sponsors. Chin Express. Chin Express, located at 2 Warnock Springs Road in Magnolia, is a proud sponsor of Mirror Rider Athletics. Home of the legendary Express Tenders and Chicken E Sweet Tea, Chicken Express provides fast, friendly service of the best quality food. Stop in today or drive through and taste the difference. You'll be happy you did. Magnolia Motor Company. Magnolia Motor Company, a proud supporter of Murata Athletics, offers a large selection of certified pre-owned vehicles right here in Columbia County. Located at 55 Highway 79 North in Magnolia, stop by today or browse online at www.magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company, your pre-owned vehicle destination.
Behind the plate for Southern Arkansas, game two, the catcher number 23, Haley Nillen. And in the circle for game two, the right-handed pitcher number 13, Sydney Ward. And leading off for the Tigers in the top of the first inning, the second baseman, number 21, Bailey King. Game two underway here in Magnolia as Bailey King back in that leadoff spot for Washita here in the top of the first inning. Bailey King, Lauren Lester, and Aaron Williams, one, two, three up for the Tigers here in the first. They'll face Sydney Ward in the circle for the Mule Riders. Ward sports a 2.13 ERA, 10 and five this season. She's making her 18th start, and of the previous 17 times she's gotten in the circle, she's went the distance eight times, and she will most likely cross over the 100 innings pitched mark here in game two of this series as King will now have to work a 1-2 count against Sydney Ward. Two point, or excuse me, point zero seven batting average opponents have off of Sydney Ward. And swing and a miss down on strikes is the leadoff batter King. For out number one here in the first inning. Now batting the first base, number eight, Lauren Lester. We saw a 15 strikeout performance from Brinson Rogers in game one as SAU won seven to one. That's the first punch out for Sydney Ward here in game two, her 87th of the season as Lauren Lester fouls off that pitch over to the right side. With the win, the Mule Riders improved to 11 and seven in Great American Conference play. Washita fell or falls to 14 and four. 22nd win of the season for the Mill Riders. Ward looks down at the left wrist. Lines and delivers to the Washita first baseman. That finds the outer corner for strike two. Lights are on. Sun still shining out in the west. That one's going to be chopped over to Moctezuma, second baseman. Catches, spins, tosses over to Huey, and the 4-3 retires Lester for out number two. Now batting the designated player, number 26, Aaron Williams. Senior designated player Aaron Williams handled the catching duties back in the first game of the afternoon. She's hitting 363. top hitter on this Washita team. She looks at that first pitch from Ward for strike one. Closing in on the 40 hit mark. 37 for Williams. 35 games. That one's chopped over the reach of Ward. Going to be a tough play for Moctezuma and that's going to be the 40th hit of the season for Williams. That one was back up the middle, played by Moctezuma. Now batting the shortstop, number one, Remington Adams. And now Remington Adams with a two-out base runner. She'll dig in, sophomore shortstop. Two dozen hits for Adams. Pitches in there for strike one. Ward's filled up the zone nicely. That was her 10th pitch. Nine of them have been strikes. Got 
That was going to be Chop. Sydney's got it. And a good strong throw over to Jenna Huey at first base for out number three. So the Tigers put a base runner on, but they'll leave her there. And Southern Arkansas to the plate when we come back. The usual suspects, Dylan Roll and Moctezuma, do up for the Mule Riders in the home half of the first. In the top of the first inning, there are no runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. Behind the plate for the Tigers in game two, the catcher number 24, Emma Scales. And in the circle for Washington Baptist, the right-handed pitcher number 77, Tuesday, Milton. off in game two for Southern Arkansas, the designated player, number 65, Reagan, Reagan Dillon. Dillon. Reagan Dillon digs in as it's her, Ariana Roll, and Cameron Moctezuma. The three to the plate for SAU here in the home half of the first, and they will face Tuesday Melton, who finds the outer corner for strike one against Dillon. Melton, the junior right-hander with a 6.75 ERA. She's three and eight on the season, 57 and a third innings pitched. That pitch misses up for ball one. 26 strikeouts to 17 walks. Opponents hitting 306 against her. Making her 12th start of the season. She's went the distance five times. And the 1-1 one, one pitch, that's going to be soft liner over to Kennedy Wilkie at the hot corner. And the L5 retires Dillon for out number one in the home half of the first. Now batting in the center fielder number three, Ariana Roll. Ariana Roll digs in. And they'll shift the outfielders. They'll move the right fielder, Jordan Merritt, away from the line. And the scouting report told her to get in the gap, and that's going to result in a triple as Roll, first pitch swinging away from the shift, puts it down the line. And the table said nicely for Cameron Moctezuma. Now batting and playing second base, 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Second three-bagger of the season for the speedy Ariana Roll. And she's at third for Cameron Moctezuma, who's third on the team with 21 RBI. That one's going to be hit sharply and trying to get back to third, and she does safely. So Coach Anderson was trying to appeal on the sharp hit ball that it might have hit turf first. He's petitioning the dugout to just get the ball in the air, push across now the run. The first base in 18, Jenna Huey. Moctezuma's retired on the L6. Roll will have to stay at third. Now Huey will come to the plate, tasked with trying to get a first inning run in for Southern Arkansas like they did back in game one. First pitch from Melton misses. Ball one against Huey. Twenty-five hits on the season for Huey. Safe contact to the outfield will most likely push across the game's first run. One one pitch. Melton grooves one in there. One two pitch. That one's chopped off the glove of Melton, fielded by Adams. She's going to have to throw. I mean, really just had to force something. I'm, I'm statistically going to go down probably as a single 
It will go down as a single. That was off the glove of Melton in the circle. Now batting the catcher number 23, Haley, Haley. Millen. And now Haley Nillen will step in. So that first inning run for Southern Arkansas is pushed through off the bat of Jenna Huey. Her 27th RBI of the season, 26th hit. And now that makes way for Haley Nillen who steps in. 31 base knocks, nine have went for extra bases. Balls one strike to count to Nillen. That pitch misses, count even at one and one. One one pitch, that's chop, third base side, foul. Not a bad throw on the run there by Kennedy Wilkie. But the foul ball will bring Nillen back to the plate. Face a 1-2 count against Tuesday Melton. Right-hander trying to work out of a threat here in the first. Mirage pushed across one run. And that one is a charge put into it, and it will leave the yard. Haley Nillen exits out to left field. A two-run blast here with two gone in the first, and it's 3-0 Southern Arkansas. Home run number three for Haley Nillen, and it left in a hurry. She'll get the home run hat. Cowboy headgear, excuse me, cowgirl headgear with feathers. Your riders will celebrate back to the dugout. Now batting the third baseman number five, Gracie, Gracie. King. King. And that's a burn bomb for the fine folks out in the outfield to enjoy. It left quickly. Now Gracie King steps up. Nobody on, two outs. Fouls that one off into the netting. One pitch misses. In Arkadelphia, Southern Arkansas took both ends of today's doubleheader. 9-2 and 6-4. They claimed the series over Washita. That was a meeting of a pair of 12 and 6 teams sitting atop the GAC standings. Yards moved to 14 and 6. Washita moved to 12 and 8. Yards will look for the series sweep tomorrow. High noon. That's when these two teams will convene. Finish off their three game Great American Conference set. That one's fouled off. Two pitch. Melton had some heat on that one. That misses up and out for ball three. Counts full to Gracie King. The pitch. That one's fouled off out of play over towards the New Rider bullpen. I believe SAU communicate, athletic communication student worker and Current Murata women's tennis player Hanoka Yoshimura will grab that foul ball. We don't broadcast tennis with with a play-by-play, -play, so I wanted to be sure to get Hanoka's name in there. Got to give her the shout out. Speaking of Murata women's tennis, off to an absolute scorching start. I say start. We're already almost into April, but 16 and one on the season. Chasing down the single season wins record. And it's a young Murata women's tennis team that's doing a lot of that damage. Just the one senior 
Greta Wallen playing that top line for Coach Greg Owen in singles play. Wallen along with sophomore Annika Berendorf, the sixth ranked doubles team in the country as King puts a charge into that one and that one's off the glove of a lunging and leaping center fielder, Caitlin Province. And into third base, Gracie King. Good base running there from King. Her second triple of the season. And now the two out table is set for Bella Angelo with King at third. Now batting the right field number 10, Bella Angelo. King's eighth extra base hit of the season nearly left the yard. A little bit more on it, she would have touched it all. Of course, she dang near touched them all anyway. She's ended up in third with the triple. One ball, no strikes. That pitch misses low to Angelo, 2-0. and oh. Looks at that pitch for strike one. Two balls, one strike to the junior right fielder. 14 hits for Angelo this season. Includes a double and a home run. Base knock here would add a fourth run in the frame. So that pitch misses in for ball three. The three one pitch. That's out in the other box for ball four. Angelo draws a five pitch walk and they're at the corners for Cassidy Lear. Now batting the shortstop number seven, Cassidy Lear. First pitch to Lear, grooved in there a fastball from Tuesday Melton. Pitch misses out, trying to get the runner down at second, and they're going to throw her out. No slide there from Angelo, and a good throw out behind the plate. Good arm there from Scales. So Angelo. The bottom of the first inning, there were three runs, four hits, no errors, and one runner left on base. Thrown out on the 2-6, caught stealing. That'll end the frame, but Southern Arkansas. Four hits, they produced three runs to bag Sydney Ward, who's back out in the circle for her second inning of work. Leading off the second inning for the Tigers, center field number four, Caitlin Province. Caitlin Province in the box to lead off things for Washita here in the top of the second inning. Tigers trailing Southern Arkansas three to nothing. Infield single by Jenna Huey scored a run and a two run bomb by Haley Nillen. Added two more. Nillen enjoying a three hit afternoon. Three RBI. Pitch from Ward. That's fouled out over to the left side, not of play.
Providence enters the 36th game of the season for Washita, hitting 253, making a 32nd start. 21 hits, 19 have been singles. Second on the team, stolen bags with four. So a threat to move around the base pass if she reaches. One ball, two strikes to count to lead off batter for the Tigers here in the second. Caitlin Province. That one's popped up, fouled out over play over the top of the farm road. Two balls, two strikes to Kaylin Province. That one's hit over to Lear. And fields cleanly, sharp throw to Huey, and the 6-3 retires Province for out number one. Now batting the right footer, number 25, Jordan Merritt. Jordan Merritt, we saw her pinch hit for Washita back in game one. She's in the lineup here as the right footer for the Tigers in game two. Oh, one pitch misses for ball one. One ball, two strikes. That one's chopped over to King. Chases it down, but in foul territory. Merritt, the freshman. One of three freshmen in the game two order for Washita. The one two pitch from Ward. And that one again swung on hard, but foul down the left side. Two pitch, that one's hit back up the middle and into center field. And it's a one out single for Merritt here in the first. And that's a base runner for the Tigers. As Kennedy Wilkie steps to the plate. Coach Jackson talking things over with the home plate umpire. Looks like we might have a pinch runner here for 29 for 22. Actually, just going to be a it's going to be a pinch hitter. Now pinch hitting for the Tigers, number 29, Marley Huddleston. So Huddleston saw her pinch hit back in the last or seventh inning of Game One. She pinched. She Pinch hits here, excuse me, for Wilkie here in the second. With Merritt at first base. One out in the inning, first pitch to Huddleston. 
in there for a called strike. A one pitch finds the outside corner for strike two. down to first. Took a little while to get the appeal. Say Huddleston did not go. So it's a one ball, two strike count. Ward gets the call, looks at the wrist for the sign. Delivers. That one's going to be popped up over the glove of an outstretched Cameron Moctezuma at second. That's into left field for back-to-back -back base hits. Excuse me, right field. And it's first and second for Scales with one gone. Now batting the catcher number 24, Emma Scales. So Emma Scales digs in with just one out here in the second. Developing situation here against Sidney Ward. Runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss from Scales, the catcher here in game two. delivers. Takes a little too far off the inner half for ball one. On one pitch, lays down a bun, it's going to go foul. Two pitch, outside corner called strike three. Big punch out for Sydney in the circle. And two outs now with two on for Fomby Bell. Now batting the left footer number 42, Kendall Fomby Bell. Kendall Fomby Bell, the sophomore, making just her eighth start of the season. spot of the order for Coach Jackson. Playing in left field. Swings through that pitch. One ball, one strike. Outside corner, Fomby Bell kind of shakes her head, felt that it might have might have been able to touch some of that black there on the plate. One ball, two strikes, swing and a miss, big punch out for Sydney Ward, and she'll strand two Tigers on the base pass. Comes away unscathed in the second.
In the top of the second inning, there were no runs, two hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Leading off the bottom of the second inning for Southern Arkansas, the shortstop, number seven, Cassidy Lear. Some defensive changes for Washita. Huddleston pinched hit back in the top of the second. She'll stay in the game as the designated player. Aaron Williams, who was the designated player, now takes over behind the plate. And Emma Scales, who started the game as the Washita catcher, moves over to the hot corner. Two ball, no strike count from Tuesday Melton to Cassidy Lear. Lear looks at that pitch for strike one. Bottom of the second inning here in Magnolia, game two, this Great American Conference Series. The two teams will convene tomorrow at high noon in game three of the series. Pitch is hit out and is going to find green grass. A diving effort, a hard turn from Lear rounding first and prompted a throw. Good job there. And she's on with a single in the right center field gap. Now batting the left field, number two, Morgan McAlexander. Now Morgan McAlexander digs in. Had a two-run base knock back in the first game, and she's got an infield single here off the bunt. Nicely done. It looked like they were going to try to play it and see if it was going to roll foul, but there was no spin whatsoever and with Morgan's speed my goodness she was there now batting safely player number 65 Reagan Dylan and so now the table set nicely for Reagan Dylan two on nobody gone and that's going to get out of the mitt of Williams and so the pass ball is going to push McAlexander to second Lear's going to go to third. Now they're even closer for Dillon. Pitch misses for ball two. Two old pitch from Melton. Finds the inner corner for strike one. Good hack there from Reagan. Comes away empty, fouls it off into the netting. Two balls, two strikes to the leadoff batter for Southern Arkansas. She's hitting 355 this season. 39 hits, 10 doubles, 10 home runs. That one's popped up left field. Coming in is Fomby Bell and 
Quick response there. She had to cover a lot of ground. Covered it quickly. And the F7 retires Dylan Proud, number one. Now batting the center field, number three, Ariana. Roll! Ariana Roll digs in, tripled in the, on the first pitch she saw from Melton back in the first inning. And quick swing there, fouls that one off towards the Washita dugout. Melton trying to work around a jam here. Southern Arkansas trying to take advantage and increase that 3 nothing lead. Pitch to roll. Outside corner called strike two. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, rolls down on strikes. And a big punch out there for Melton. She's an out away from stranding a pair of New Yorker base runners. Now batting and playing second base number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. Melton has used the Outer half of the plate nicely. Early going in this one. First pitch to Cameron Moctezuma. And the second one's hit out to left field. Fomby Bell diving effort. It gets by her. It's going to roll to the warning track. Two runs are in, and it's going to be a two-out double off the bat of Cameron Moctezuma, and two more come across. As the double into left center field, just out of the reach of Kendall Fomby Bell. And now it's a five nothing Southern Arkansas for advantage. Jenna Huey. Jenna Huey steps in. Octazuma's at second. Seventh double of the season for Cameron. And it produces two more runs for the Mule Riders. One, one pitch. That one's going to be fouled like it might have come off the right leg of Huey. Got to walk around a little gingerly on that one. She'll step away from the plate momentarily and she'll head back to the box. One ball, two strikes. Two gone, one on. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Huey's staying alive at the plate. ball two strikes that one's popped up on the infield will be playable and coming in is Lester and she's got it on the p3 for out number two but Southern Arkansas pushes across two more they lead it five nothing through two Sydney Ward back to the circle for the Mule Riders At the bottom of the second inning, there were two runs three hits no errors and one runner left on base
leading up third inning for Washtenaw Baptist, the second baseman number 21, Bailey King. Top of the order up for Washita as King hits that one out to left field. Mike Alexander's got it tracked for out number one. The F7 to retire King here in the top of the third inning. Now batting and playing first base number eight, Lauren Lester. Lauren Lester steps in. Back easy to Ward in the circle. Looked like Lester might have slipped coming out of the box. At first, the way she landed, thought it might be a little bit, a little bit more serious than it was. Fortunately, she's okay. She's able to make it back to the dugout. Catch number twenty-six, Aaron Williams. So the one-three retires Lester. It's been a quick two outs here for Ward in the third. Aaron Williams started as the DP, now behind the plate as the catcher. She steps in. Statistically the most dangerous hitter in the Tiger lineup. Average over 360. 37 hits. 17 of which have went for extra bases. The one pitch swing and a miss. Good placement there from Ward. Good waste pitch there from Ward. Good, good frame from Nillen as well. Probably even a better job of Williams of letting that one be. The one two pitch. Swung on and fouled up and out of play. One-two pitch, and that one's swung on and hit back up the middle. A two-out single for Williams, her 38th base knock of the season. And that'll bring to the plate Remington Adams, the shortstop. Now betting the shortstop number one, Remington Adams. Going to be hit out into right field just in front of Angelo. So it's back to back singles for the Tigers. So the offense starting to click here with two gone in the third. Now batting in the center fielder number four, Caitlin Province. Now Caitlin Province, the sophomore. Steps in. Ward trying to work out of what's become a jam after a two pitch, two out frame to start. Uses that outer corner nicely for strike one. Friendly fire there as Jordan Merritt took one off the padding in the on deck circle. She laughing with a couple teammates in the dugout. She's okay. The 0 2 pitch. Strike three looking down on strikes is Adams. Ward works out of back to back singles with two outs. And 
Southern Arkansas carries a 5-0 lead to the bottom half of the third. This is Muir softball. In the top of the third inning, there were no runs, two hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Leading off the bottom of the third inning for Southern Arkansas, the catcher, number 23, Haley Nillen. Nillen King and Angelo up for Southern Arkansas on the bottom of the third inning. As Tuesday, Melton's out to work. The third for the Tigers. Strike to Haley Nillen. She left the yard back in the first inning. Two run shot, exited out to left center very quickly. And she touched them all for the third time this season. One two pitch from Melton, off speed, set back on it, punched over to second base, and a good quick throw there by Bailey King for the 4-3 to retire Nillen for out number one. Now batting and playing third base, number five, Gracie King. King steps in for Southern Arkansas here with one out in the bottom of the third inning. the shortstop, excuse me, Adams the shortstop, unable to make a, I believe that hit her offhand. She appears to be in considerable, considerable pain. And he immediately saw it when, when it, when it, it took a hop and it hit and she spun around as the ball went out into the outfield. Defensive substitution. You said what number, Jack? 18. Big thanks to Jackson Boyd working our broadcast this afternoon. Helping.
So some changes here after the injury. Bailey King will move over from second to shortstop and then taking over for Adams as far as just a replacement in the game. It'll be Mackenzie Amaya. So now Now batting the right footer, number 10, Bella, Bella. Angelo. Bella Angelo in the box for the Muir Riders. She's got a 3-0 count against Melton. Kings at second. Angelo's going to take over at first. King will hold his second. Now with one out in the inning, Lear steps to the plate for Southern Arkansas. Now batting the shortstop, number seven, Cassidy. Lear. First pitch to Lear, misses out, four ball, one. Ball one strike, that pitch misses out. So Lear ahead in the count, two balls and one strike. One out here in the bottom of the third inning. Still in Arkansas leading 5-0 over Washita here in game two. That one is going to be hit on the ground. Off of King, who just moved over to shortstop. Now batting left bit number two, Morgan McAlexander. All two strike count to Morgan McAlexander. The bases are loaded. Two hit afternoon for Alexander, who in game one made her first start in the field as a mule rider. That one's chopped over foul. King kind of had to dance out of the way of it.
Pitch misses up and in for ball two. Two balls, two strikes to McAlexander. One out in the inning. Base is fully loaded. Pitch from Melton. Outside corner. She didn't agree with the call. A little too far out. And the count's going to run full against McAlexander. Three balls, two strikes. And swing and a miss down on strikes. Good hack from McAlexander. Just comes away empty for out number two. Now batting the designated player number 65, Reagan Dillon. Now Reagan Dillon steps in with the bases loaded and two outs. Melton would love nothing more than to be able to work out of this jam here. As Dillon first pitch swinging, that's into right field. And that's going to get down. One run comes in, a second run crosses. Lear moves to third. So it's going to be a single into right field. Moves Lear to third. Angelo scores. King scores. Two RBIs. Now batting the center fielder, number three, Ariana. Roll! Now Ariana Roll steps in. Great play over at the corner. And then safe. Even better speed. But a good job fielding that at the hot corner. Uh, scales. Now batting and playing second base, number 14, Cameron Moctezuma. And that ball's going to get down. They're going to send Dillon, and it's going to be close at the plate. She's in safely. Roll takes third on the throw. And Moctezuma with a single into left field. Roll moves to. Now batting and playing first base, number 18, Jenna Huey. Roll moves to third, Dylan scores. And now Huey at the plate with runners at the corners, and it's a four-run frame just like that. At least it feels just like that when you're trying to man the stack computer as well. It starts catching up on you, Jonathan. Starts catching up on me. And that's right. That's right. Great. Great job by the Murauders executing with two gone. And that one's hit sharply back up the middle. That'll be another run for Southern Arkansas. That's Moctezuma. Moctezuma moves to second. So Haley Nillen will now step to the plate. And they're playing the classic. That Tom Cruise blockbuster danger zone. Only change is going to be in the circle. 13 will come in and take over for Melton. Cody Batchelor, the new pitcher for Washita. Pitcher fans, pitcher team for Washita Baptist. Now in the circle, number 13, Cody Batchelor. Batchelor making her 10th appearance of the season. All have been in relief. 17 and two-third innings, 5.55 ERA and a 1.58 whip. Nine strikeouts to seven walks, and she's... And now batting the catcher, number 23, Haley Millen. Been called upon here to try to help the Tigers get out of the frame. There's a first and second for Nillen. Pitch misses low and in for ball one. Second pitch is 
Going in for ball two. The 2 0 pitch. Nice movement there. That's in there for strike one. the same pitch good placement there two balls two strikes as bachelor battles back in the count runs it even two balls two strikes two on two gone check swing at the play ball was low and in the turf I don't believe they're gonna check and the count's gonna run full at three and two Out off at the plate. So Nillen stays alive at the dish. Full count to Haley. Two outs. It's Moctezuma at second. Huey's at first. Pitch from Bachelor. And that's going to walk nil and just misses. And that pushes him full for King. Now batting and playing third base, number five, Gracie King. King two for two with a run scored here in game two. Swings through that pitch from Bachelor. For strike one. New Riders pushed across three runs in the first, two more in the second, and are currently enjoying a five run third inning. That makes it a 10 0 ball game. Good pitch there from Cody Batchelor, the relief pitcher for Tuesday Melton. No balls, two strikes. The 0-2 pitch to King. Good job by Gracie. Fought, waited back on that one long enough. Fought it off. Stay alive in the count, 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. Outside corner called strike three. New Riders strand the bases loaded, but not before they push across five in the third. They lead it 10-0 as Ward heads back to the circle to start the fourth. In the bottom of the third inning, there were five runs, five hits, one error, and three runners left on base. Leading off the fourth inning for the Tigers, the right fielder, number 25, Jordan Merritt. Jordan Merritt in the box for Washita. Here to lead off the top of the fourth inning.
First pitch from Sydney Ward misses for ball one. Tigers with some work to do as Southern Arkansas pushed across five in the third. They lead it 10 to nothing here through three. One ball, one strike, count to Melton. Ward looks down at the wrist, gets the sign. She delivers, pitch misses up for ball two. Pitches fouled off at the plate. Like Merritt tried to check her swing. Made contact, and the count evens at two and two. Two-two pitch, that misses up and out. And the counts run full to lead off batter here in the fourth, Jordan Merritt. Stays alive at the plate, fouls that one off into the netting. Three balls, two strikes. And again, good job by Merritt. Fouls off back-to-back -back pitches. Chopped at the plate, and no play to be made. Merritt's speed, she's able to run out an infield single for a leadoff base runner for the Tigers. This should be the designated player. Now batting the designated player, player number 29, Marley Huddleston. Yeah, after the changes, this will be the designated player, Marley Huddleston. So Merritt's at first base for the Tigers. Huddleston's at the plate. And good placement there by Ward for strike one. One pitch that misses for ball one. Gets the call from Coach Jordan, looks at the risk and delivers. Delayed strike call there. One ball, two strikes, nobody out. Runner on, that's Merritt. Hustled, hustled out an infield single on a chop ball back to Ward. Not really back to the circle, more so out in front of it. Check swing at the plate. Ball misses for a ball. I don't know if we'll have a peel at first. Two balls, two strikes. Count two, Huddleston. That pitch misses low and the count runs full. Strike three looking, Ward worked back inside and picks up the strikeout of Huddleston. Now batting and playing third base, number 24, Emma Scales. For the first out here in the fourth inning. 
Good pitch placement there from Sydney. That one, first pitch to Scales, the third baseman. That's popped up foul. Out of play for strike one. Popped up, right side, and Angelo's there, and a good spin at the line to toss back over to second. Good job there. Great defensive play to get the out. An even better job by Angelo to make sure Merritt stays at first. For out number two, and I believe we're going to have a pinch hitter here for Fomby Bell. Now pinch hitting for the Tigers, number five, Emma McCorkle. Emma McCorkle, Emma McCorkle steps in. Pitch hitting in the nine spot for Kendall Fomby Bell, the left fielder. Merritt's at first base, two gone here in the fourth inning. Shows bunt, fouls that one off into the netting. The ball's one strike, two outs. Big hack there from McCorkle comes away empty for strike two. Two pitch from Ward. Waste pitch misses out. The lead by McCorkle. Steps back into the box. Merritt at first base. One two pitch. Strike three looking. McCorkle down on strikes. And King retires the Tigers as Southern Arkansas heads back to the plate in the fourth. They lead it 10 0. This is Murder Softball. In the top of the fourth inning, there are no runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base.
Now pinch hitting for Southern Arkansas, number 17, Brooklyn Reed. Brooklyn Reed, the pinch hitter for Southern Arkansas to begin the bottom of the fourth inning. In the box with a 2-1 count. Facing Cody Batchelor. McCorkle remained in the game. She moved to center field. And then Province moved from center to left. Reed looks at that pitch for strike two. Two ball, two strike count. Fouled off at the plate. Two two pitch, and again, Reed fouls that one off. So back to back pitches, she's fouled off part of her body. So she's kind of beating herself up a little bit here, but good job staying alive in the count as Brooklyn Reed. She'll dig back in to face Bachelor. Two ball, two strike pitch. That's going to be hit softly over to the shortstop. Fielded and good speed there from Reed, but tossed out by the shortstop for the 6 3 put out. Now pinch hitting for Southern Arkansas, number nine, Savannah Clawson. And now Savannah Clawson will pinch hit for Cassidy Lear. Clawson digs in to face Cody Batchelor, who's in relief of Tuesday Melton. Pitch misses for ball one. No pitch, swing, and a miss. Good hack there for Clawson, just come away empty. Counts one ball, one strike. One out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch misses just low for ball two. One pitch, that one's hit sharply, but foul down the left field line. Kind of leaving at two and two. Lawson's worked a full count, three balls, two strikes. One out here in the fourth. And swing and a miss. Bachelor worked that pitch back inside. Got Clawson to chase. She's down on strikes for the second out here in the fourth. Now batting in the left field, number two, Morgan. McAlexander brings Morgan McAlexander to the plate. She's one for two this evening. What a run scored. She also had a hit in game one. First pitch from Bachelor misses in the turf for ball one.
One ball, one strike. The pitch to McAlexander, and she fouls that one off her leg at the plate. Cal moved to one and two. Two pitch, swing and a miss down on strikes. That'll do it for Southern Arkansas in the fourth. Sydney Ward will head back out to the circle, looking to finish off the Tigers here in game two. In the bottom of the fourth thing, there are no runs, no hits, no errors, and no runs left on base. So it will not be Sydney Ward. She will be done after four strong innings from the right-hander, and she'll turn things over to Corey Bird, who will make her 11th appearance for Southern Arkansas. All have been in relief. She's still 16 and two-third innings. She's got seven strikeouts to 11 walks. Opponent's hitting 277, so Bird called upon here in the fifth to try to finish off the Tigers here in game two. Attention fans, pitch a change for Southern Arkansas. Now in the circle, the right-handed pitcher, number 22, Corey Bird. I believe we're also, also going to have a new catcher for Southern Arkansas, taking over for Nillen. be Natalie Rector. So Reed. Stayed and in the game the plate in the right field. 16, Natalie Rector. And Clawson stayed in the game and will be playing shortstop. And it'll be the top of the order up for the Tigers here in the top of the fifth inning. King, Lester, and Williams to face Bird, the new pitcher for the Mule Riders. Leading off the fifth inning for the Tigers, the second baseman, number 21, Bailey King. Bird gets the sign from the dugout, delivers to Rector. Pitch misses up for ball one. Pitch finds the corner. Good placement there from Corey. Four strike one. One ball, one strike count to Bailey King. Freshman middle infielder. We've seen her play both second and short here today. Moctezuma ranges over and a good play by the left-handed second baseman. Probably wondering why does that matter? Well, she had to turn quickly in order to get a play over to Huey as that ball was hit nearly up the middle. Good action there from Cameron. Number eight, Gordon Lester. An impressive 4-3 for Moctezuma. Now, Emma, excuse me, uh, Lauren Lester steps in for Washita. From the right side to face Bird. Looks down at the left wrist. And delivers. Pitch misses up for ball one. That one's popped up on the infield. And Huey's got it. Four out number two. I believe they're going to say that was officially foul territory. Like she might have been over left side of the line when she caught it. So two outs quickly for Curry, Corey Bird and company. As Aaron Williams steps Not bad in. Not the catcher number 26, Aaron Williams. Two outs in the inning. That pitch misses up. Bird delivers a 1-0 pitch, swing and a miss. Williams takes a good hack at that one. 
comes up empty. One ball, one strike. Two outs here in the fifth. Ten to nothing Southern Arkansas lead. Marauders trying to end this one early. That one's going to be popped up, and that's going to get down in right center field. And so Williams continues a solid afternoon. Another hit for her. Now batting the second base from her 18, Mackenzie Amaya. Mackenzie Amaya steps in, playing second base. Williams is at first. Pitch from Bird misses out for ball one. Amaya ahead in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Two-o -oh pitch. That's in there for strike one. Good pitch from Corey. These two teams will finish off the series tomorrow at noon here from Dawson Field. Comes up empty. Two balls, two strikes, two away here in the fifth. Heard a strike away from Southern Arkansas to the win column. The 2 2 pitch. That's hit. That's going to be poked out into the gap, but there to make the grab is Brooklyn Reed, and she's got it for out number three. So the F9 into right center. Retires things for Washita, and that'll end it. And they finish it early. So in Arkansas, the run thing, rules no the runs, Tigers. One hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. And so in Arkansas takes game two of the series in five innings, 10 to nothing. They won the opener 7 1. They'll be back here tomorrow at noon to face the Tigers, and they'll look for the sweep against Washita. We thank you for joining us here on this. Beautiful Friday afternoon. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good evening and God bless. Southern Arkansas clinches the conference series with a game two victory and final score of 10 to zero. Game three will be back here at Dawson Field tomorrow at high noon.